It was very similar to something that I saw myself. To this day, we don't have a clue what sharks kids. Uh, skinny, uh, looks very, very, you know, something like out of horror movie, I will say. Just in the distance, super skinny, super tall, freaking me right out. What's up guys, welcome back to another Slenderman experiment video. This is the final video. I, I was going to end off this whole series at the last video, which you guys recently just watched where our tent caught fire. No. Oh my god, something set our tent on fire, bro. Help me please find my killer. Yo, look at this. There's like a trap door here. Brennan! 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 My light! My light just shut up! Brennan! Where are you? I'm okay. Get out of the house. Get out of the house, bro. But Renny and I decided to save all the interviews for a special video. I know a lot of you guys want more of this stuff. So Renny actually worked very, very hard these last couple of months interviewing uh, a couple of people that were actually yeah. like Fl Slenderman survivors. So there were four people in total that expressed interest. I was only able to actually interview two of them. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say two of them chickened out, but uh, last minute they canceled. They were probably skeptical. They didn't want to, you know, share details with what their experiences were. Yeah, they don't want to. But we did manage to, at the very least, get two people on camera and they were able to share some intimate details of actually what happened. So that's what today's video is going to be about. It's not going to be us going to look for Slenderman once again. It's going to be the interviews that Renny did with these survivors of Slenderman and people that encounter Slenderman. So I hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to mix up the interviews throughout this video. Big shout out to Renny for helping me throughout this series. Uh, it's been hard, it's been tough, it's been scary. It's, what are, it's what are been your a long thoughts? time. The thing is, they don't see just how much we do off camera. Like we were hiking through those woods. Can you imagine how many hours? If yeah. we were how many math? How many days? Because like it's, it would literally be days. The these videos took us. Work? These videos took us pretty much all summer long to film. Yeah, like exactly. it was like a day two or a week. We've literally been filming these videos. You guys have been able to watch it over the span of like what a week and a half. Yeah, but it took us like a few months to actually yeah. film all of it. Just. Non-stop grind, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, sometimes a lot like, of ticks. <laughs> a lot of ticks. Our cameras broke here and there sometimes and sometimes we'd have to abort mission and go back home and regroup and come back. town it's not close to where we're at yeah so every time we go out there we were out there for a long period of time and exactly. then we have to go all the way back so yeah it's very draining so we did a lot of work on this series and it shows that you guys really love it enjoy it. the the likes have gone up the comments have gone up the views have gone up it, we are gonna be working on a new series I need you guys to be patient I will be dropping like abandoned and haunted stuff in between until I get those new series uploaded uh, we've actually already started working on a few episodes. There's a lot more episodes coming for the next series. Can we tell them what it's going to be about or not? <sighs> not yet. We're going to wait until we drop the yet. first episode. We're still in the process. I mean, we're just really, really yeah. in the beginning stages of yeah. actually filming. You guys are going to love it, though. It's going to be crazier than Slenderman series, but you guys are going to love it. Well, we already have on footage crazier things. Yeah, that's I know, why it's hard to believe. believe. It's hard to believe. That's why I'm saying it's going to be crazy. Slenderman, but this yeah. is like... This Excellent. is a whole another level than yeah, Slenderman, exactly. so you guys are gonna go crazy for this. Now, smash the like button, guys. Comment something positive. What do you want us to do the next next series on? Well, let us know in the comments below. Also, go follow Rennie on his Instagram and follow me on IG because we'll be posting on IG of where we're gonna be next, and maybe you guys can meet us. Now, enjoy the interviews that we put together for you guys, and don't forget to subscribe. I want you to understand before we even start the interview that uh, what's going to happen is when we uh, post out the video, we're gonna blur out your face and we're gonna digitally alter your voice so the audience, no one's ever gonna be able to recognize your identity. So you don't have to worry about that. You're completely anonymous. Anything you say, no one's going to be able to know that it's you. You actually reached out to us first. So I want the audience to understand that. Uh, that basically you <laughs> showed me photos of what you captured out in the woods. And it's basically the exact same thing that Mo and myself captured a few years back uh, of Slenderman. So, that's what actually intrigued me and got me excited because lots of people actually reach out to us, especially on this topic about Slenderman. But most of the time we just dismiss it because 
they have no evidence or proof other than their own experience by itself. So the fact that you actually were able to capture it on film, on photograph, and the fact that that photo that you captured is almost identical to what we captured on film is basically what wanted me to talk to you in person and ask you a few questions about what exactly it is that you captured. Were you by yourself when you captured this photograph? That's right, I was by myself. And you said it was far off from, like, deep in the woods? Yeah, very deep. It was very far away from the town. I love to go on hikes and trails and things like that. So I was, uh, I'd say a couple of hours into the trail. Okay. So pretty far away from the town. Pretty okay. far away from the beginning of the trail. What's uh, strange to me about this is that you actually, when you reached out originally, you said that your first encounter with what you think to be or could possibly be what they call like Slender Man. I'm going to remember it, you know, until I die. It was crazy. Me and my buddies we were out in the forest and, you know, the sun was setting. I remember it was kind of in the horizon there, so it was kind of dark. And uh, that was one of the first times we uh, decided to stay past curfew. And what happened was uh, we were walking around deep in the trail and I saw this figure just in the distance, super skinny, super tall, freaked me right out. And it was moving quickly. And I got a glimpse of it, and I'll never forget it. It was, it was like, I have no idea what it was. It was super tall, it scared the hell out of me. My friends saw it, scared the hell out of all of us, right? And it was one of those things that you're never gonna forget. It's kind of like a nightmare, because, you know, you're out there with your kids, you're alone in the woods, and you see this thing out of nowhere. And it freaked us right the hell out. That's, well, what happened? You, you saw this with your body. Nah, and it was just, in the distance, but what happened after that? Yeah, we bolted it. We started running. We, we ran as fast as, as far away from that place as we could towards the town. Um, like, no idea what it was. You know, we've been out there many times, never saw anything like it. Well, that's the thing I, I got to ask you, because you, you were a kid when this happened. So is there a possibility that maybe your imagination was putting <laughs> on you that what you saw was maybe not what you think it was? I, I wish that, right? I remember it vividly, and I remember when I got home, and uh, I was like, no, I, you know, it, it must be something like, it, it has to be something, it can't be a monster or something that's crazy, and I tried to convince myself I saw, you know, something that was ordinary that we just got scared of, maybe we were kids, right, our imaginations. Yeah. It could have been your imagination playing all oh, yeah, the like, tricks, or like that, maybe what you were seeing was just... I don't know, a, a kid's imagination, basically. Yeah, that's what I wish it was, but, um, you know, but... The fact that you and your buddies all saw the same thing. That's right, not only that, like... Like I said, I caught a glimpse of it again around four years ago. But but that's the thing, it's so hot. it was like a long span of time. I, I, that's, that's, yeah. Like, so much time passed. I walked up and down those trails all my life. I never saw it again until I took the photograph and sent it to you guys. What, what, what makes you think that? Why did you think it happened now? After no all idea. this time, you're seeing it again. I have no idea. No idea why I saw it again. Freak of coincidence. Just bad luck. I don't know. And when you saw this figure, could you, as best as you can, describe what exactly it is that you saw? So, it's kind of hard to see what it was completely because, like I said, the sun was setting. Yeah. So it was kind of dark already. And... All, all it looked like was kind of like a big stick figure. That's like the best way to explain it. Like a tall stick figure. Okay. It looked like a human, but with disproportionate limbs. And how far away from you would you say it was exactly? It was pretty far away. It, it was at least, uh, I'd say, 50 feet. Okay, but that's actually pretty close. So uh, when you saw it, like, what's your impression? What was the feeling that you got? Just instant fear, just closing in and, you know, just super scared. And then one of my friends yelled at him and started to run. So your first encounter with Slender Man was when you were basically a child. Like how old would you say you were when you first saw him? I was, I was around eight, nine. Okay, so relatively young. And then a few decades go by and then you have another encounter with Slender Man. But this time you capture him on photo. That's right. Yeah. This time I took a picture. Now, it's a long span of time between the first time and the second time that you saw him. And between all that time, you've had 
nothing happens to you. Nothing that's, happens. that's right. I lived here all my life. Went to that forest all my life. Different trails every week, every other week. And I've never seen it in between. What about your friends? So the, the, the guys that you were with when you first originally saw Slenderman, did anything happen to them during that time? No. Nobody saw or talked about it afterwards. And what do your friends think of it now? When they look back, what do they think it is exactly that they saw? Uh, to this day, we don't have a clue what we saw as kids. Yeah, it's like one of those things that you just kind of try to debunk it. Memory, or, or, yeah, you, you try to debunk it as best as you can, but there's no explanation behind it as to what exactly. it is that you saw. And, you know, to be truthful, if you go around town, I mean, they won't tell you, but I've spoken to people in my town, and they also have had some weird strange uh, encounters so the same similar, similar to what you saw that's right but uh, very reluctant to speak about it because if you bring something like this up you tend to get ousted you know they see you as a crackpot when you talk about uh, some of the things that some of us talk about we've seen in the woods so you know I don't know if you might be able to get a reaction out of these people but uh, there's definitely uh, a few of us that have uh, encountered yeah. uh, something similar well, that's the thing too. You're actually not the only person in this town that's actually reached out to us. So the fact that there's more than one of you who've had similar experiences, and you're actually not the only person that's actually photographed what looks to be what we're hoping is Slender Man. And the thing is, I, I had no idea what Slender Man is growing up. But that's the thing yeah, I want to actually touch on, because you were a kid when this happened, and this was long before Slender Man became a trend and a fad. And long before, like, the internet blew up and people started making movies and talking about it and making YouTube videos and whatnot. So you had absolutely no idea what Slender Man was. I had no what idea. What happened. And now that I've seen, like, what people talk about and things like that on the internet, oh, it's like, wow, holy cow. Like, that's very similar. Kind of, like, almost corroborates your story. Almost, yeah. like, feeds credibility. That's right. It makes me feel less crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're actually the second interview we're going to be doing on this particular topic. Uh, so it's Slender Man that we're talking about specifically. And the gentleman that we interviewed, he lives in this town. And he told us about the experiences that he had with Slender Man out in the woods, not too far from where he lives. And uh, so you reached out to us and you said to me that you had a similar experience with Slender Man. Yes, my uh, son. He watched your program with Mo, and uh, he shouted for me to come to see what he is watching, and it was very similar to something that I saw myself a long time ago. So this is why I reached out to you. Okay, uh, but what did you see specifically? So one thing you mentioned to me over the phone is that it was in an abandoned house? Yes, yes, that's right. It uh, was a abandoned old house, uh, not too far from the town where I am from. And uh, this is what I see. Th th that's the thing though, did you see it inside of the house or did you see it outside of the house? It was outside of the house. Okay, and could you describe as best as you can what exactly it is that you saw? It was this uh, strange uh, figure I will not forget. Uh, very tall, uh, skinny, uh, looked very, very... You know, something like out of horror movie, I will say. That's... It, the things you just used, all those basically adjectives, the descriptors, are basically identical to what the first gentleman said in the interview. Very tall, skinny figure, and basically just that, like it's out of a horror movie. Yeah, as well. It's, it's hard to describe what, uh, what you see in this moment, uh, but uh, th this is the main thing that stand out. Okay, and the, the location, is it still here? Is it still up? Like, is there a possibility that Mo and myself could go there and ex yeah, explore? Yes, yes, it is uh, still there. And you can give us that location? Of course. Oh, perfect. That's, that's excellent. Because yeah. that's, why, that's why we're here, because we want to uh, shed some light on this. We've actually already captured on camera encounters with Slender Man, and the things that we've seen and heard are extraordinary. So we, we're hoping to capture some more of that. Yes, I, well, that's why I contacted you, uh, because when I saw it a long time ago now, to see that you have seen it 
on your channel and I've seen it when you guys were shooting. Yeah. I figured, you know, maybe there is something to this. Why not to let them know also what I know about this? Those were the two interviews that we were allowed to film. The other two guys did not want to be on camera and they didn't want to share their story even though, you know, we would have blurred their faces just like the other guys. Uh, these guys just weren't having it. They, they felt like they get mocked at or laughed at if anybody. Well, got all of the people, like, those two that were even on camera, that was exactly that. They yeah. were a little reluctant to be on camera. That's why I blurred out their faces and I altered their voices because it was exactly that. They wanted their identities to be preserved. One of them is actually like a like a notable person in his community, and he's afraid that if they find out that he's talking on this subject about his personal experiences that that's exactly that he'll be ridiculed he'll be ousted and there's even a possibility that people will come against him yeah so but the thing is the two guys the details that they shared with me are very similar to one another like their descriptions of slender man was almost identical like on par yeah the first guy that i interviewed so he first saw slender man when he was a kid and obviously when you're a kid your imagination just working up, you know what I mean? But he saw the exact same thing that he saw as a child later on after many years and he was the one who actually got captured on camera and he was the guy that originally got us interested in actually doing this series yep. because of the photo proof that he was able to capture and it was basically very similar to what you and I captured, what was it, two years back now? Yeah, yeah. two years back, around that time. Around that time, yeah. Yeah. But We've been at this for a while, like even, like this, cut, in a way this series kind of started off like two years ago. Yeah, the whenever, very first video whenever I, I ever captured did Slender with Mo was exactly that, was Slender Man. In the snow, we were camping out in the snow and things went completely wrong and we actually got him on camera and eventually Travel Channel picked up our video and they aired it and they actually had a Slender Man expert come in on the show and he basically gave us credibility to what we saw. Yeah. So which is really cool. And what they caught on camera was almost identical to exactly that our footage. Exactly. The Slender Man looked just like what they captured on photo. That's what actually what made me think that they're not just shysters, they're not just trying to attract our attention, mm -hmm. that there's some credibility behind their stories. And when I interviewed them, again, you guys obviously couldn't see their faces, but when I talked to them behind the scenes, it was genuine. Their experiences were authentic. They were definitely not trying to just be well, on they camera. Well, don't, don't they don't even want their names They don't want their names shared. They don't so, want any so shout-outs. they're not for the clout. You know they're what I mean? not exactly yeah. that. They're not there for the clout. They literally were wanting to share on this subject and shed some light and they actually do think that there is more to this than a lot of people realize. There might be a possibility of a one more Slender Man video in the future. M maybe, maybe. I don't want to keep doing this because it, it, it has been getting really dangerous and very stressful, um, especially on the both of us and I don't want this guy to die. The Not last one I, I thought you were a little, I'll just say I think you were a little stupid. Like with what happened with the tent being set on fire? Yeah, that was weird. What reason did we have to stick around? I just it wanted was, to document great. more. That's the thing I, I, mean. I know, I know, but like, we, we could just have left the camera or something. We should not yeah. have stuck around. Like even though like we get scared and stuff, I still want to stay and document more. Like I always want more. I want, it's content. And it's, it's content that no one else delivers out there on YouTube. And I want to get that content for you guys to give you guys that entertainment aspect of the video. That's why he was freaking out in the video, yelling. And he's like, I was going to yeah, He was very, mad. very, very like, he was mad. You, like, I would have been okay with staying alone, but you guys saw it. He didn't want to leave me behind, which is kind of good. Well, I, I didn't want to abandon you at the same time. Yeah, you would have gotten shat on because I've had people in videos abandon me before. Yeah. And they got shat on by my fans. Well, so, uh, well genuinely, unauthentically, I didn't want to leave you by yourself. But at the same time, I really wanted to, like, excuse my language. <laughs> I was really angry at you, man. I want to get out of there, okay? Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this extra basically this wasn't even supposed to be a video these interviews were supposed to be mixed into all the videos at the beginning but um someone was lazy <laughs> <laughs> did you guys know how much editing i don't have an editor right now yeah. um i'm editorless editorless if you have editing skills and you're really good at editing show me proof of your editing um dm me or something Send me a link to your work and maybe I'll hire you if you want to be my editor. I am looking for a full-time editor, someone that actually has experience. I'm not going to teach anyone. I need someone that has experience. Keep in mind, guys, because he doesn't actually have an editor, this is less time that he could be spending actually on the road filming. Exactly. So he's actually so now in the house of, most of the time yeah. working on this as That's opposed to being out and about. Forever. Instead of like, you know, going out there and filming more co content, more haunted, more abandoned, more adventures. Uh, more of these series, I'm like stuck in my office. And that's the thing too, we're actually, again, in the process of filming this new series, and we already captured pretty fantastic content. 
And yours and my schedule, it usually doesn't line to begin with, but now that you don't have an editor, it's even harder to find time to film. All right guys, smash the like button once again. Go follow Reddy on Instagram. I think you're almost at 10,000 followers now. I believe so. Almost. Thank you guys. Well, because of you guys. So Basically all your fans, streaks, you know, well, my fans trickling love, over to me. So. My fans love you, so that's, yeah, Appreciate you know, it guys, thank you. They're your fans now too, so I'll share, I don't mind. <laughs> love you guys from the bottom of our hearts. Don't forget to be, do, stay positive, and just live a little.